are entering a new era of transportation where growing populations, rapid urbanization, and increasing wealth per capita has led to the highest volume of vehicles on the road ever. With this brings uh, increasing pressure on climate change, volatile oil prices, strict government regulations to reduce carbon emissions. These factors have contributed to the need for sustainable new energy vehicles. At the heart of these technologies are safe, low cost and reliable batteries that store energy required to power these vehicles. My name is Eric Speck. I am the uh, chief engineer um, for our global battery testing at uh, Tufsud, technically responsible for battery verification services on a global basis and in North America. We see advanced battery development uh, occurring in North America and in Germany, uh, but we're starting to see more and more advanced work of this nature uh, being produced in other parts of the world, specifically Asia. Uh, the market ultimately decides what kind of product development occurs in response to regional product demand. Uh, for example, Asia has many, many more two-wheeled vehicles than uh, four-wheeled private cars. Hence, the, the market needs batteries that are about a fraction of the size of a typical Toyota Prius HEV battery pack. Um, however, developments are becoming commonplace, uh, so the leaders today may not be the leaders tomorrow. Um, the government push to the elimination, for example, in China of lead-acid batteries for two-wheeled vehicles is an example of this rapid change in the direction. Um, Tufsud is investing in, in labs uh, in China as well as Korea uh, to provide consistent level of uh, service to support customers' demand for ensuring that these batteries are tested properly and consistently. And generally, we see a dramatic improvement in some of the products that we've been testing in our uh, Tufsud labs, particularly in North America, and we're getting a strong trend that, uh, in our analysis that says improvements in terms of tolerance to abuse at the individual cell level uh, are being made that were unheard of for large cells even three years ago. The performance of, battery, uh, of a battery system can be described as its power, its uh, energy, its safety. So one of the key challenges is to assure the performance of a battery system throughout its lifespan, you know, typically uh, eight years at a minimum. Manufacturers of batteries should be conducting life cycle testing to simulate the degradation of the battery's performance uh, over its lifespan. And it's important to integrate the testing very early in the design process to make sure that the timeline for the whole program uh, stays on budget and on time. So uh, realization that an EV cannot yet duplicate the distance that a gasoline-powered vehicle can uh, travel on a full tank um, is driving improvement in the energy content of the battery. The improvement can, in range can take place uh, at the cell level in one of two ways. And the first is to store more energy per unit weight and the second is to reduce the amount of materials. There are other ways beyond these two uh, such as good engineering by focusing on the area that lies just outside the cell in an alternative approach that's known as the bipolar uh, method. There are uh, 15 standards today that um, are used for abuse testing of uh, vehicles, in particular the batteries within vehicles. Um, some examples are SAE has several, uh, UL or Underwriter Laboratories has uh, several, and IEC has written some, and there are others. Um, these standards were initially developed for hybrid electric vehicles and they've survived and grown to include full electric vehicles with no engine or uh, powertrain in the conventional sense. They've undergone updates, constant updates, to uh, make the gap jump from uh, hybrid electrics to full electric vehicles, but there are still gaps, and we, the industry knows this. And they've been highlighted through efforts such as the American National Standards Institute Electric Vehicle Standards Panel work over the last two years, and uh, Tufsud uh, has played a part in this work to highlight what needs to be done next. Uh, we need to manage the gap, and the stakeholders are doing that by collaborating with independent test labs, um, test providers such as Tufsud. We actively work with industry standardization committees to develop robust new standards or improve the existing ones, 
in the field of batteries, uh, electric vehicles themselves, the infrastructure, and uh, smart grid. So the, the industry is evolving. We are uncovering new insights into trends. Uh, we're testing methodologies to ensure that they support uh, progress. So it's important to be constantly up to date on industry developments, which is why Tutsud has published white papers in several areas of abuse testing based on our research findings to help those who need to perform the tests and apply the standards.